Open OCD and GDP are command line tools. As a result, many people find it hard to use them. In this lecture, I'll show you how to prepare a debugging session of a sketch that is running on an Arduino Zero. Then I'll show you where to find the tool binaries in your Arduino installation and how to start them. This process may seem tedious at first, but I promise you that if you practice it a couple of times, you'll be able to start a debugging session within seconds. You will see that it's very easy. Let's begin. Okay, let's get started. I will first move into my Arduino IDE directory. So to do that, I'm just going to say um, CD and then move in here. I'm just going to drag my folder and that will allow me to quickly copy the path to that location into my command line. All right, so that will save me a bit of typing. So the first thing to do is to start Open OCD, and then once Open OCD has started, we'll connect uh, GDB to it and start debugging. Let's first launch Open OCD. So from here, I want to drill into Arduino, and then Tools, and then we've got Open OCD, and then the current version and then bin and then in here we'll find the open ocd binary then i'm going to use the s switch to pass the folder that contains various configuration files for open cd and that again is inside arduino tools open ocd 0 0.90 etc and open so then share and open OCD and in here we've got scripts. So that's where open OCD can find the scripts that it needs. Next, I'm going to use the F switch to pass through to open OCD the configuration files that describe how the Arduino Zero works and its capabilities. So that is in Arduino hardware SAMD 1.6.5 variants Arduino Zero and the configuration file is inside OpenOCD scripts and Arduino Zero dot cfg all right so hit enter and you'll see now that we have launched the up and on chip debugger and the message that we got out is the same as the message that we got when we used again open ocd to do the uploading in the arduino ide so again we've got swd Auto selected as the transport option, even though JTAG is supported, but there's nothing connected, there's no tool connected to it. So Open OCD has now started and it's listening for connections on ports 4444 or 3333. I'm going to open up a new window on my terminal shell and uh, this is where I'm going to start my GDB session. So again, just to make typing a little bit less time consuming, I'm going to copy, I'm going to go for the whole Arduino, up to the Arduino level, uh, change into the Arduino folder. I'm going to move in one more actually, CD tools, oops, CD tools. And in here, I'm going to start by launching, uh, I'm sorry, by getting into the ARM subfolder and then drill all the way down to where the GDP tool is. So then I've got this, and then I've got ARM, um, sorry, from here, I've got to go into bin and then EAB uh, GDP. All right, I'm going to use the D switch to tell D 
a JDBit will wear the source files for the sketch that is already running on the Arduino Zero is. So the source files are in this directory. So I'll just go back one and then just drag this in here. So this is the location of my sketch that I use for the debugging demonstration. Okay, and GDB has now started and it's waiting for my instructions. The next thing to do is to tell GDB where the ELF file equivalent for the sketch that is running on the board is. Remember, this is the file that I grabbed from the Arduino IDE when the Arduino IDE did its compilation. Then I copied the temporary location for this file into my text editor. So from here, I'm going to copy it and import it into the GDP session. So I use a file command for that and just copy the location of the ELF file. Okay, so it's read the symbols from the ELF file and it's done. And finally, I can now connect to the open OCD tool and start the debugging. To do that, I say, I use a command target, remote local host, and I'll use port 3333 for that. An interesting thing that you can remember is that you can have a open OCD session running on another computer and then from a uh, a second remote computer you can connect it through the network. So Open OCD and the GDP tool do not need to be running on the same machine for this to work. Done. So uh, we now have a connection between GDP and Open OCD and we can start with our debug session.